Hello there and welcome back to another video. Now, very, very, very few of you may realise that it's exactly a year today that I've been doing Lego videos here on this channel. Well, my first one was a short that I accidentally uploaded as a video and it was a collection of a few images with me talking over the top and it was actually me building a custom Anakin figure, which I do still have here to this day. I took the burnt up Anakin from Vader's transformation set, which Lego released a handful of years ago and added some custom translucent orange Ninjago parts to create this cool burning Anakin, which rather than him being on Coruscant on the table being turned into Darth Vader, he's taken straight from Mustafar, he's still on fire, and in fact, the minifigure's even a bit too hot to handle. But we're going to be taking that minifigure today and adding a few mech parts, basically taking Vader's mech set and transforming it into an awesome mech addition for this minifigure. We're not just going to be going for Vader, but this is actually meant to represent one of the Vader comics. I think it was from 2020, where he gets taken back to Mustafar, and basically Palpatine just chops him up, leaves him in the lava, just like Episode 3, only this time it was his second master, third if you count in Qui-Gon, that betrayed him this time, and for some reason he stuck through with him till Return of the Jedi. So there's going to be a few facts sprinkled in here, but... Let's get down to the desk and take a look at the mech we'll be transforming. So if you have by chance read the 2020 comic line of Vader, you'll know this does take place with Vader. So all I'm going to be changing about this minifigure that is now a year old today. So I guess this is the birthday of the minifigure. It's back in a Vader's helmet on it because as I said, it takes place with Vader. This is post Revenge of the Sith. I think this is even quite some years into the original trilogy because this is where Vader is ultimately trying to find out where Palpatine is hiding out on and he's been doing some errands on Exegol which of course is a planet from the sequel trilogy. They tried to link it up to the other trilogies. Personally I don't think it's going too well so far but we are also taking Darth Vader's mech and giving him some new limbs of course we've still got the arm that i made custom with that hinge using the official pieces from the vader mech set and that has its own video so you can check that out but as you can see by the minifigure palpatine removes half of each limb that vader lost on mustafa the first time round leaves him bathing in the lava and vader does this cool thing floats over to the separatist hideout where he slaughtered all the Separatist leaders that were awaiting General Grievous in Revenge of the Sith. And of course, he is surrounded by a bunch of broken battle droid parts. So he finds these mouse droids, which are still operational after all this time. I've built one to scale up with the mech, and he actually punches his way through one of these mouse droids. You can see there's this open corner on this side where you've got the control panel and he programmed the mouse droids to bring him spare parts so he gets some legs, some arms, but they're half Vader, half more machine, which I guess Vader is already machine at this point. So as you can see by the limbs I've built, this is a B2 battle droid arm. The top half is very much like Vader's and in fact I've kept it true to the original design of the arm you can see. On both sides the arm starts the same but it's when it gets to the joint that it is different i've had to include another dish piece just like on the original vader legs you can see they use a dish piece to represent the knee and keep it nice and rounded off well i've got this round dish piece to represent the joint in the b2 battle droid arm we've got the two thick fingers with the thumb underneath rather than coming out the side so i have fully customized this lower arm to match that of a b2 and from the side, this is the perfect arm in any position you can pitch. I really think they need to use these hinges for the mechs rather than their giant pieces for the legs. Now, the legs, I have used them pieces, but going forth, I think I'm definitely going to include some dish pieces for all the custom mechs I make because it just looks so amazing. And now, taking another look at Vader's leg, of course, Vader only has the top half of his leg, so we've copied that across. And I've turned the bottom into some battle droid legs. I think these are again B2 legs in the comics. There'll be a few images flashed up on your screen, I'm sure, throughout this video. But rather than having the big boot Vader does, I've made the shoe 
one plate shorter to sort of match the smaller size of the battle droid foot compared to vader's black boots i've also coned off and rounded off the front to get the shape of it b2s do have this random triangle it's probably some repulsor engine or something so they can jump of course vader has the force he wouldn't necessarily need it but he has taken the leg so i've copied that across and taking a look at the other leg you'll notice that they're not identical because of course we've had to include the rust and of course i wouldn't leave that detail out i'm using lego and i guess i've got lego standard as well coming across but i've included the odd brown piece to show that these leg pieces have rusted over the many years they have just been chilling on mustafar i guess the air's not that bad as they don't look that bad in the comics but i'm sure that's just so people are familiar with the droid parts that he's using and if we clip them to the lower half of this vader mech you can see this mech now represents vader from the comics we've got a little mouse droid or mse droid accessory and the reason we equipped lord vader here with his helmet is because when he is then plated in his mech it looks like the vader from the comics he's got his helmet but he's still got the glowing phantom limbs that you see in the comics there's actually a really cool scene where he goes through some sort of force wall and his spirits lifted out and you can see the rage pumping through him but all of his limbs that he has lost over the years are just pure white where i guess there's no connection to the force they're not exactly light side but they're not exactly dark side either but i am a big fan of this mech it just goes to show lego are big on swapping out parts from current mechs they have got taking an arm from the trooper taking a leg from boba fett and whacking it on vader i'd love to see some more mechs like for the b2s and battle droids okay the droids are going to be very hard to do perhaps that's a challenge i'll give myself sometime in the future but as long as it's roughly mini figure size a grievous mech would be amazing four arms coming out of here i mean you've sort of got the space to do it if you could whack some arms on top and perhaps get these a stud down that's definitely something i'm going to work on in the future but that is my vader mech of course it's from the comics so i'm not sure many of you will know exactly what this is referencing but as long as you know these are meant to be arms and legs of b2 battle droids I'm sure you can picture what he looks like. It's an amazing comic. Definitely give it a read if you're interested. The biggest problem I have with the comics is actually quite similar to Lego. They are very, very expensive. Lego can be affordable sometimes, especially for some of the piece counts in the bigger sets. But the comics are just so expensive. And would you rather buy the whole volume of comics or two of these Vader mechs? I know which one I'd be picking up. So definitely... Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Lego content on this channel. Thank you so much for all the support and I really do appreciate hitting 800 subscribers. So thank you again for that amazing milestone and may the bricks be with you always.